Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Price is Right Price Again Recap for this Wednesday, October 28th, 2015. And we are just three days away from Halloween, and we have reached the midweek point of this week's shows already. Wow. Alright, time to get things started with the first four contestants that were called to come on down. And on today's show, the first four contestants' names were... Megan Anthony James Cobb Carolina Hernandez What was Carolina? And Dan Sandoval They were the first four contestants on The Price is Right. Today, the awesome Amber Lancaster was the model that gave Drew the mic at the handoff. The first item up for bids was a pair of original Polly's Island hammocks, Polly Lumber Paterondack chairs, two footrests and one side table included, plus a modern stainless steel outdoor fireplace added to those chairs. All modeled by the ravishing Rachel Reynolds, who in one week's time, along with Neil Rocks 87, will be celebrating a birthday. Now on to the bids. Megan, $550. James, $625. Carolina, or Carolina, Whatever way it's pronounced, $1,000. And Dan, $626. The actual retail price of the chairs, along with the modern stainless steel outdoor fireplace, was $1,280. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I got a... I got a little distracted from the noise upstairs. Uh, the winner was Carolina. Since her last name is a Hispanic one, I'm just going to call her Carolina. And she joined Drew up on stage. She was wearing a shirt that said, Feisty Little Nugget. It was a picture of a Chicken McNugget uh, running off. Or couldn't quite make out what the rest of the shirt had. And now for Carolina, she was going to have a chance to win a new car! And it was a Chevrolet Sonic LT sedan. Came equipped with an Ecotec 1.8 liter engine, 6-speed automatic transmission, OnStar, front-wheel drive, plus all-weather floor mats. It's the Chevy Sonic, modeled by Amber. Carolina was playing Temptation. And the first number in the price of the Chevy Sonic that Drew revealed was... One. Yeah, normally when this game's played, Drew doesn't reveal the first number until it comes time to reveal the other numbers. This time he did it, which was the right way. Now, here was the first prize as part of the Temptation. Rachel first brought out a Nano Titanium Styling Tools Collection. It included a professional curl machine, curling iron, hair dryer, two flat irons, and 20 hot rollers. Rachel held up the price of this collection being $686. So the second number was either a 6 or an 8. Carolina went with 6. The next prize brought out by Amber was a Super Jeweler 2 carat diamond bracelet. And ha Amber held the price uh, for, them, for that being $2,999. The third number was either a 2 or a 9. Carolina went with 2. 
Next, Rachel brought out what everybody could use. Cash. Specifically, $1,177 worth of cash. So the fourth number was either a 1 or a 7. Carolina went with 7. And the fourth and final prize brought out by Amber was a Nintendo Wii U Deluxe Gaming System. It included a touchscreen gamepad with motion control, built-in microphone with stereo and speakers, six games included. Excuse me. Amber uh, showed the price of that prize to be $500. So the last number was either a 5 or a 0. Carolina chose 0. So Carolina put a price of $16,270 for the Chevy Sonic. Now at this part of the game, she was asked if she wanted to change any of the numbers. Carolina chose to change the 6 to an 8. And that was the only number she changed. Now the price of the car was $18,270. Now, Drew offered Carolina a total of $5,362 in prizes that she could take and forget about the car. But if Carolina wanted to go for the car, every number that she placed for the price of that car had to be correct. Because if even one number was wrong, she would lose the car and lose the $5,362 worth of prizes. Carolina chose to go for the car. So, she uh, wanted to go big here. Well, let's see if everything went off well for her. We're going to start off with the second number. She originally had it at a 6, but changed it to an 8. Let's see if that was a good change. Was the second number an 8? Yes! So Carolina was right to change the six. Now we have to worry about the remaining three numbers. All right, for the third number, was it a two? Yes, it was. All right, that's only two more numbers to go. Now for the fourth number, was that a seven? Yes, it was. So, if the last number was a zero, Carolina would win the car and the $5,362 worth of prizes. And, and you know something? The, the, since this was such a big reveal, Drew actually let Carolina reveal the last number. And when she pressed the button to reveal the last number in the price of the Chevrolet Sonic LT sedan, it turned out that it was... Well, it's very common that car prices end with a zero or a five. But I think when it comes to temptation, it usually ends in a zero. But let's see. When Carolina pressed the button to reveal the final number and the price of the car, it turned out that it was... Wow. Oh, boy. Trying to trying to calm myself a little bit. I'm getting a little little nervous. All right, Carolina revealed the final number and the price of the Chevy Sonic, and when she pressed the button, she found out that the last number in the price of the car was. Oh, you are not gonna believe this. Man. It was zero! Carolina got the car! She won the car! And the $5,362 in prizes! Oh! What a start to today's show! A huge win in Temptation! That is a 
total amount of $23,632 in prizes all for Carolina. Woohoo! Yeah, baby! <laughs> and including the um, chairs that she won, Carolina currently won $24,912 in prizes. Oh, what a win. This, this right here is a win of the week. You know, it might even go down as one of the best wins of this season. Oh, that was awesome. All right, it, it's going to be a little hard to top that, but let's see how the rest of, this, rest of today's show went. The next contestant that was called to come on down by George Gray's voice was... Bridget Forland. She was the next contestant on The Price is Right. And the next item up for bids was a 27-inch HP NV27 touchscreen desktop computer. One three-piece Bose speaker system included, modeled by Amber and Rachel. The bids were, Bridget, $1,600. Dan, $1,100. Megan, $1,200. And James, $800. And the actual retail price of the desktop computer was $1,669. The winner was Bridget. She was the second contestant to play a pricing game. She joined Drew up on stage near the giant price tag. Bridget was wearing a shirt that said, One dollar make you holla. Well, she should have bid one dollar, but, you know, she was the last contestant to bid first, so that probably wouldn't have been wise. And now Bridget was going to have a chance to win a new motorcycle. George mentioned that he has one and Drew has one of these. It is a Honda CBR 500 RAVS motorcycle that was modeled by Rachel. Bridget was playing, pick a number. Now, the displayed price for this motorcycle read out as blank $799. Amber was over by the numbers 5, 6, and 9. Bridget believed that the first number that was missing, located in the thousands place, was six. So, she believed the price of that motorcycle was $6,799. Amber placed the six in the first missing spot, and Drew claimed that the six was uh, not too high or not too low, it was just right. And uh, <laughs> Drew thanked Amber by calling her uh, beautiful Amber or gorgeous Amber. And Amber replied, you're welcome, handsome Drew. Mm -hmm. Now, when Drew revealed what the first number in the price of that motorcycle was, it turned out that it was... Bridget won the motorcycle! I honestly thought it was nine, but Bridget proved me wrong, and Bridget is now going to be driving, riding that motorcycle wherever her home is. <laughs> and including the desktop computer she won, Bridget currently won $8,468 in prizes. Now we're two for two on pricing game wins. Nice. Okay, the next contestant that was called to come on down was... 
Pamela McEwen. Her name is spelled P-A-M-A-L-A. -A. Not the normal spelling of P-A-M-E-L-A. -A. The next item up for bids was being modeled by Rachel on the turntable. And it was a Wolfgang Puck Kitchen Tech Low Pressure Oven. Accessories plus seven kitchen tools included. The bids were Pamela, $500. Dan, $620. Megan, $1. And James, $425. And the actual retail price of the pressure oven from Wolfgang Puck was $510. Pamela was off by $10 and was the third contestant to play a pricing game. And just like for Bridget's pricing game, Pamela's was being located behind the giant price tag. And now, Pamela was going to have a chance to win a new suite of kitchen appliances. It includes a five burner gas range with double oven, a French door bottom freezer refrigerator with electronic controls, and an ultra quiet dishwasher with third level rack. Plus, Instacart grocery delivery for a year. All modeled by Amber. A prize worth $7,697. Pamela was playing Pick a Pair. We went from pick a number to pick a pair. Now, here were the six grocery products. We had a 10-ounce spray can of Magic Wrinkle Remover, a four-pack of Dole 4-ounce Cherry Mixed Fruit Cups, a 24-ounce bag of Mission Fiesta-style tortilla ch triangle chips. A 24-slice pack of Kraft Deli Deluxe American Cheese. A 10-ounce bottle of Gud Paranormal Acturti Natural Body Wash. And a tube of Colgate Optic White Toothpaste. Now, for Pamela's first selection, she went with the tortilla chips. The price of them were revealed to be $4.99. Now Pamela had to find the other grocery product that had that price. Pamela believed that it was the toothpaste. And there were some doubters in the audience saying no. Well, let's find out. When the price of the toothpaste was revealed, it turned out to be... Well, well, well! $4.99! Those doubters were proven wrong! And Pamela won the new kitchen appliances and the grocery delivery for a year! Hey, a perfect first half! Awesome! and including the pressure oven that Pamela won, Pamela's current total in winnings was $8,207. Alrighty. Now it was time to find out who would be the first contestant to make it into the showcase with Showcase Showdown number one. Pamela spun the wheel first. In Pamela's first spin, she landed on 50 cents. Pamela chose to spin again. And adding to the 50 cents from her first spin, Pamela got in her second spin. Well, it looked like the wheel was going to land on 80 cents, and that would have made Pamela go over. Fortunately, the wheel just stopped on the 15 cents for a total of 65 cents. Pamela did not go over. Bridget spun the wheel next, and for her first spin, she landed on 40 cents. She had to spin again, 
She needed at least a quarter, but no more than 60 cents. And adding to the 40 cents from her first spin, Bridget got in her second spin... 40 cents again for a total of 80 cents. And Bridget was the leader. And now it's time for Carolina to spin the wheel. For Carolina's first spin, she landed on... Well, well the kind of day she was having, it would appear that landing on the dollar would make things a lot sweeter. Well, bad news was she didn't land on the dollar. The good news was she landed on 85 cents. And by one nickel, Carolina won her way into the showcase. Wow, she cleaned up on temptation. And who knows if she cleaned up in the showcase. We'll find out later in the recap. Damn. It's really true what people say. Some people have all the luck. All right, the next contestant called to come on down was Chrissy O. And uh, I am very certain she is not related to the actress Sandra O. But hey, maybe she might be Sandra's cousin. The next item up for bids was a Warrior Custom Golf Custom 15-piece golf club package. One lightweight waterproof bag included, modeled by Amber. The bids were Chrissy, $1,500. Dan, $675. Megan, $900. And James, $1. The actual retail price of the golf club package was $1,900. Chrissy was the fourth contestant to play a pricing game. And she would be playing it up on the turntable. Now, Chrissy had a bucket list t-shirt made out. It mentioned about her name being called, getting to meet Drew Carey, um, yeah, getting to spin the wheel, which is, which is what she's going to do, um, and uh, make it into the showcase. Well, let's see if she will accomplish that. But first things first, Chrissy was going to be playing for, well, these two prizes. They were a Prince Advantage indoor-outdoor ping-pong table, accessories included, and a Fendi sunglasses collection that include three stylish pairs with radiant lenses. Both those prizes were modeled by Rachel. And if Chrissy won those two prizes as a bonus, she would win a trip to Hilton Head, South Carolina for two. It's round trip coach in Los Angeles for a six night stay at the Sonesta Resort, Hilton Head Island. Daily breakfast, one massage each, and a round of golf included, modeled by Amber. So that's where the golf clubs come, in, come into play. <laughs> Chrissy was going to be playing Clock Game. So, Chrissy had 30 seconds to win both the ping pong table and the sunglasses collection. And if she succeeded, she would win that trip to Hilton Head. Alright, I am first going to give out the prices that Chrissy gave for the ping pong table, which were her bids. And, uh... I will now show you the price of that ping pong table. And here were Chrissy's bids. 900, lower. 850, lower. 
800, higher. 825, higher. 826, higher. 830, higher. 840, higher. 845, higher. Then she went 46, 47, 48, 49. And she got it at $849. And it took her 14 seconds to get that prize. So she had 16 seconds remaining in which she had to get the price of the sunglasses. And um, Drew pointed out that Chrissy was wearing a Fendi watch. So she, uh, Drew believed that she, Chrissy had to know the price of those sunglasses. From that brand. Alright, so starting off at 16 seconds, Chrissy gave the following bids for the sunglasses. Here's the price first off. And the bids were from her 1200 lower, 1100 lower, 1000 lower, 900 lower, 800, lower, 700, lower, 600, higher, 650, higher, 660, higher, 670, higher, then she went 80 as in 680, higher, 690, higher, then she went 99 as in 699, lower, then she went 95, 695, higher, then she went 694. Drew told her higher. Then she went 96, as in 696. And her time was up. Oh, this is going to pain me a little to give you the actual retail price. Those Fendi sunglasses were $698. Chrissy said $6.99. I really wish she had said $6.98. Oh, she had like about four to five seconds left to hopefully get that in, but ah, oh, not to be. Well, on the bright side, she did win the ping pong table at $849 for a consolation win. And including her golf clubs that she won in the one bid, plus the ping pong table, Chrissy currently won $2,749 in prizes. Okay, the next contestant that was called to come on down was... Robin Fuss. Very interesting name. Don't make such a fuss, Robin. The next item up for bids was being brought down from the jewelry elevator. And it was a pair of Sony 18.2 megapixel cameras, four 64 gig memory cards, and battery packs included from buydig.com. And when those cameras went back up, the bids began. Starting with Robin, $725. Dan, $1,200. Megan, $850. And James, $1201. And the actual retail price of the cameras from buydig.com were $1,388. James was the fifth contestant to play a pricing game. And he joined Drew up on stage where his pricing game was going to be played behind the giant price tag. It's the third time today a pricing game was going to be played behind the giant price tag. That was played. And you know, James was one of the first four contestants that was called to come on down. And he's been and he waited a very long time to win his way up on stage. Well, you know. Good things happen to uh, people like James who wait because James had now now had a chance to win 
a new car! And it was a Kia Rio LX. It came equipped with a 1.6 liter engine, 6 speed automatic transmission, front wheel drive, plus carpeted floor mats. It's the Kia Rio modeled by Amber. James was playing Dice Game. Now the first number in the price of this Kia Rio was one. Now, when James took his first die to roll the second number for the price of the car, he rolled a six. Was the second number a six? Yes, it was. All right. So he got the second number exactly right. Nice. Now he rolled his second die, which was for the third number in the price of the car. James rolled a two. Was the third number a two? Yeah, it was! Oh my god! He got he got two numbers exactly right! Awesome! Now he rolled his third die, which was for the fourth number in the price of the car. He rolled a three. It almost landed on six. But three was the number. Was the fourth number a three? Are you kidding me? He rolled three numbers exactly right? Oh my god, this is amazing! Now, if James could either roll a 1, a 6, or the number exactly, James will automatically win the car! Wow, he is... Wow. So far, he didn't have to make a decision on going higher or lower. Huh, let's see if he could um, make a perfect playing for dice game. For the fifth and final number, um, well, James used his fourth and final die to roll that fifth number. And it was a three. Was the fifth and final number in the price of the Kia Rio LX a three? No, it wasn't. Oh, so close. But now he had to know whether the three, um, well, the actual number was higher or lower than a three. James went with the odds and said higher. So, that's the only number James had to worry. So here's the breakdown. If it's a four, a five, or a six, James wins the car. If it's a two or a one, well, this almost perfect playing of dice game will will have a very 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 disastrous result after rolling the, the three numbers in a row exactly right I wouldn't want the game to end like that alright so James believed the last number was higher than a three and when the final number in the price of the Kia Rio LX was revealed it turned out that it was... Well... Can you believe this? I knew something like this was going to happen. The last number was... A five! James won the car! Man, that, had, that has got to be one of the best playings of Dice Game in a long time. Almost perfect, but still fabulous. The actual retail price, $16,235 for the Kia Rio. And including the megapixel, 18.2 megapixel camera that James won. James currently won $17,623. In prizes. Well, that'll definitely be a uh, memorable win from this season, I'll tell you that much, folks. Man. Alright, well, I'm having so much fun doing this recap, but it's sad to find out that 
I'm up to the part where I read the final contestant that was called to come on down from today's show. And the contestant who was called to come on down was... James Kellogg Jr. He was the next contestant on The Price is Right. And the final item up for bids was an LG 9.1 channel Blu-ray disc home theater system that was modeled by Rachel. The bids were James, $6.95. Robin, $13.99. Dan, $14.50. And Megan, $1,500. The actual retail price of the Blu-ray Disc Home Theater System from LG was $800. James, who was the final contestant called to come on down, won his way up on stage. He would be playing his pricing game on the turntable. So, what did James now have a chance to win? Well. James was now going to be playing for something that will go well with that Blu-ray uh, <laughs> this home theater system that he just won. A new home theater! It included a Flex Steel Contemporary Leather Seating Group and an LG Energy Star Qualified 55-inch Smart 3D TV with full HD 1080p and two pairs of glasses included, all modeled by Amber. James was playing coming or going. Now, the home theater was either the coming price of $6,799, or it was the going price of $9,976. James went with the coming price of $6,799. You ask me, I felt very good on this choice. And when Amber revealed the actual retail price of the home theater by flipping the actual retail price over, was it $6,799? Absolutely! James was a winner! He got himself the home theater. And to celebrate, he sat on one of the recliners and was eating popcorn from a bowl. <laughs> and including the home uh, home theater system that he won, James currently won $7,599 in prizes. Man, what a day the Price is Right had today. Man. Well, now it's time to find out who would be joining Carolina in the showcase with Showcase Showdown number two. Chrissy spun the wheel first, and for her first spin, she landed on 40 cents. Chrissy chose to spin again, and adding to the 40 cents from her first spin, Chrissy got in her second spin 50 cents for a total of 90 cents. Uh, James Kellogg Jr., who just played Coming or Going, spun the wheel next. And for his first spin, he landed on a dime, 10 cents. He needed 80 cents to 90 cents in his second spin. And for James Kellogg Jr.'s second spin to add to the dime from his first spin, he landed on, hey now, 80 cents, giving him 90 cents. And tying with Chrissy, they'll have a spin-off unless James Cobb beat them both. For James Cobb's first spin, he landed on 60 cents. Drew encouraged uh, James to be part of the, the party by tying up at 90 cents. So James C. had to get at least 30 cents, but no more than 40 cents. And for James C.'s second spin to add to the 60 cents from his first spin, he landed on 55 cents for a 
total of $1.15. James Cobb went over. Now it was time for a spin-off between Chrissy and James K. Chrissy spun first. For her spin-off spin, Chrissy landed on... A quarter. 25 cents. Now, it was James K.'s turn to take his spin-off spin. Could he beat Chrissy's 25 cents in just one spin? Well, for James K.'s spin-off spin, he landed on... <sighs> wow. 15 cents! Oh! Too bad for him, but for Chrissy, she was on her way to the showcase. So far, she has done mostly everything on her bucket list, but now winning the showcase is the last thing she's got to do. Did Chrissy win her showcase? We'll find out in just a few minutes. All right, now I'm going to get to the showcases. Our top winner today was Carolina. The runner-up was Chrissy. Showcase number one, the theme of the prizes in this showcase was clear as it can be. It started off with a Toy Birch Leather and Suede Accessory Collection. It included three handbags with polished gold tone hardware, peep toe booties, and a pair of T-strap sandals. Next was a trip to Shanghai for two, round trip coach in Los Angeles, for a six night stay in a superior room, at the Rendezvous Mary Hotel, Shanghai. Daily breakfast included, plus a two-hour sidecar tour with personal driver. The Tory Burch accessories and the trip to Shanghai were both modeled by Rachel. And finally, it was a trip to the Galapagos Islands for two. Round trip coach from Los Angeles to Baltra, and then on to Santa Cruz Island for a six-night stay in an ocean view room at the Hotel Solimar. Two guided tours plus round-trip transportation included, modeled by Amber. So, it's Tory Birch Accessories and trips to Shanghai and the Galapagos Islands. This showcase could either be Carolina's or Chrissy's if the price is right. Carolina chose to bid on this showcase instead of passing it to Chrissy, which, I'll be honest, surprised me a little bit. But it was Carolina's choice. And Carolina gave a bid of $24,500. Now for showcase number two. The prizes in this showcase contain the theme time. Or time flies when you're having fun. It started off with an Apple water resistant watch. An Apple iPhone 6 Plus was also included. Uh, next was a trip to Switzerland for two, which is round trip coach from Los Angeles to Zurich, and then on to Grindelwald in a rental car for a six night stay in a deluxe twin room at Belvedere Swiss Quality Hotel Grindelwald. Daily breakfast plus one gondola ride and guided hike through the Alps included. And Chrissy would meet that guy for a city walking tour that includes the Zeitglog Clock Tower. The Apple Watch and the iPhone 6 Plus plus the trip to Switzerland were all modeled by Amber. The trip to Switzerland appeared at door number four in the background. And finally, trying to get the right cue here. Nailed it. A Jeep Renegade SUV! It came equipped with a 2.4 multi-air engine, 16-inch aluminum wheels, power and air group, and front-wheel drive. And that was modeled by Rachel. Man, I haven't really seen a Jeep Renegade on the prices right in this day and age. So it's a new Apple Watch along with an iPhone 6 Plus. A trip to Switzerland and a new SUV. 
This showcase can all be Chrissy's if the price is right! And for Chrissy's bid, she went with $29,500. And when the show, and after the show took its final commercial break, the showcase reveal took place. Drew went to Chrissy first. Chrissy bid $29,500. The actual retail price of her showcase was... $35,326 for a difference of $5,826. And now over to Carolina, who had quite the day for herself. She won everything in temptation. With her luck, well, let's not jump to conclusions. Her bid was $24,500. The actual retail price of Carolina's showcase was... Oh, you are not going to believe this. Boy, the day started out well for her, and the day ended for Carolina like this. 24000 So, we shouldn't feel too bad for her. She did excellent today. But for Chrissy, she has completed everything on her bucket list and became the showcase winner! Wow, what a show today. Oh, definitely one of the best for this season, no doubt. Um, let me just sort out my notes here. Today, Chrissy won a grand total of <laughs> it's coming thirty-eight thousand seventy-five dollars in prizes. Congratulations, Chrissy! So, hey, you may have noticed that we were free from the losing horns today. Our five wins came in temptation. The biggest win of the day. Pick a number. Pick a pair, dice game, the second biggest win of the day, and coming or going. And we also gave away a ping pong table in clock game. So all of today's contestants get titles for Carolina, Bridget, Pamela, and the two Jameses, James Cobb and James Kellogg Jr. They are the MVPs of the Price is Right. And for Chrissy, she is the contested recognition contestant for her small clock game win. And she is the showcase MVP for winning her showcase. That included that Jeep Renegade. Nice. Oh, and not to mention uh, the $1,177 was part of uh, the cash given away on today's show. Uh... BJ MTV Canada's own Ben Mason did not supply me with any acknowledgments from today's show. Though I'll be a little honest, I expected him to with what happened for Temptation and Dice Game. But uh, if he didn't have anything, he didn't have anything. So that's that. The Price is Right Pricing and Recap this week is sponsored by Monster Mini Golf. Very fitting sponsor since Halloween is three days away. All right, and uh, speaking of Halloween, we are two days away from the Halloween special for The Price is Right. Yep, we are definitely getting one this season. We didn't get one last season because of uh, Drew's uh, issues with uh, surgery. But we got to get through tomorrow's show first. So, thank you all for inviting me on to your computer screens. And until tomorrow, I'm Mr. Horgan. 
reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.